Hello everyone and welcome to a new IK video. This is Ken from 49 and in this video guys there is a question that I've been asked a lot from newer servers especially the guys that I'm usually talking with in either the comments or they are contacting me in discord. They are all asking about Cleopatra and why it's being replaced a lot in the earth march. All right I'm gonna answer this question in this video and it, it actually a lot of reason that cleo has been replaced recently uh, cleo has always been a very strong immortal however it could be replaced in some cases and i'm going to mention all these cases also in this video so for starters for season one cleo is a very strong immortal because a lot of people are using a water march or you're, they are using a fire march so cleo work is best against magical damage for example, Merlin and Empress Wu. She counters mages so hard she decreases the damage coming from them by 35% when she is maxed for 6 seconds. And this is a lot and she also could deliver a lot of damage in first season whenever when everyone is using T4 or T5. She could deal a lot of damage with the right. Alright, but why she's being replaced in season 2? Whenever, whenever everyone has unlocked Alex's artifact and all these damage, uh, because the physical damage right now in IK is so strong. When everyone got access to Alex's artifact in Earth marches and when the Holy marches came to meta as well, so physical damage right now is so OP. This is why Cleo is not in the meta currently and. However, she actually works so good versus Shadow Marches because all the damage that is coming from Hamiko and she reduces this damage. However, she is not so good against physical damage. This is why most of the people are replacing her with an immortal such as uh, Jankees. Uh, you can see that in our server there are a lot of people who are using Earth with Jankees Khan and a state of Cleopatra. And the reason is ever since people unlocked alex's artifact they had so much damage in the front row to compensate the damage that is coming from cleopatra so and instead of having all this damage that is coming from alex and cleo they decided that they need the wounds coming from khan also it helps a lot countering the holy uh, the healing in the holy marches also when whichever march that is using healing healing either a mixed march or an earth march so they are decided to actually do the right call, which is replacing Cleopatra with an immortal such as Jenkies, because it has so much potential to deal with stronger marches such as Holy. This is why Cleo is not actually popular at the moment. I'm not sure if it's gonna ever be popular again because um, maybe there will be a strong mage in the future that will actually allow people to use Cleopatra to counter her. Uh, in case for an immortal such as Loki, Loki doesn't really deal that much damage. His strength comes from the control that he does, which is the confusion. This is why Cleo is not actually the right choice to use against an immortal such as Loki. So right now Cleo is not popular in second season where everyone actually unlocked Alex's artifact or using a Holy March or a Mixed March. So for first season Cleo is still very strong and actually in second season you can still use her against shadow marches. I had a report here with a full earth march against a shadow march. I actually dealt so good with this shadow march I and I was using Cleo however I lost the report unfortunately and I cannot show it anymore. I showed it in one of my previous video. I'm not sure if I, I'm gonna find it right away I could leave the comment. In the description this down below this is everything i wanted to talk about in this video regarding clay you guys i hope i answered all your questions thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day